Run Rabbit Run, three weeks away, 21 days. In theory, today's run is going to be the hardest training day of 2018, the entire year. As far as effort, pain level, uh, strength training, all that combined, it, it should be the hardest day of the year. I want to be fresh. I want to be as fresh and recovered as possible before I get to the starting line in Steamboat Springs in three weeks. So um, today is basically the last hard, hard day, and then I'll, I'll do two more over the next basically eight days. Anyway, I'm excited. I'm at the base of my favorite mountains, right? Grays and Tories. So I'm going up the 14ers, first time ever with a weighted vest. Uh, once again, I, in my mind, I need to continue to strive to be stronger as a runner. And I think my aerobic capacity is there. It's just the strength and then the mental, the mental game once the pain sets in. So anyway, I can't talk too long because um, I got to get going and I'm going to do a lot. I'm going to do a lot. So I'll keep you posted. I'm not even going to film much with the GoPro on this first lap. That's right. I'll, I'm going to attempt to do two times, two times. Okay. Oh boy. You win some, and you lose some in this world, right? Oh man, I had to turn around, the weather rolled in. I knew it wasn't gonna be perfect weather. I watched the Broncos game last night at halftime. The weather report came on and it looked a little iffy. And it wasn't horrible up there, but I believe this vest I'm wearing, let me just look here. I think the pellets inside, it's either sand or like lead pellets. Now granted they're wrapped in like this rubber or something, but I'm not willing to run onto the top of a 14er with lead pellets wrapped around me. No, we're not doing that. So, this was not the hardest run of 2018, but it was still a good one. I got an hour and a half in and, uh, you know, probably 2,000 feet of vertical, so we're good. Still a good workout. To make up for it, I'm actually gonna go to the weight room, just do a little light lift, and come back another day and attempt another day to get to the top with this vest on. So, anyway, not what you wanted. And you just roll with the punches, right, folks? Right, folks? Mmm, mmm, patience. Patience. <sighs> Do I regret breaking my window? I don't. <laughs> It wasn't the best situation. I would never break the window in our nice car, our CRV, but uh, I didn't have much of an option. My, my phone was locked in the car, so I couldn't really call anybody to help. Anyway, this is life. You make decisions and you gotta live with it, right? So here we go. Yet in a minute, The run getting rained out and lightninged out was meant to be because I got to come home and help True Love bring the groceries home and fold clothes. And we, whoa, look at the how price. Well, like you carried that and I wasn't gonna carry this. <laughs> so, you know, you always, always try and turn it positive. Here's the clothes. Water in the plants, water in the plants. No matter the adversity we face, right? Whether it's breaking into your own car or getting rained on, no matter the adversity, health issues, holy, I mean, we all have so many tough situations. We've got to continue to work hard to let our own light, let our own light shine. And everyone's lights, everyone's lights are different. A lot of people comment on this vlog saying they, 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 continue to watch because uh, because I, I portray an optimistic outlook on different situations. But trust me, it's not easy. But 
that might be one of my gifts is being able to turn and twist a bad situation into a good situation like being able to be here tonight to take the groceries in even though I was supposed to be up in the mountains running I digress all I'm saying is find your light find your light and let it loose let it loose on the world because the world is hurting and we need to let it loose on the world to help others and that's all I've got to say. Anyway, continue on. Thanks for watching.